Kelly's going to marry Robert. You know how mixed up she is. Robert's just taking advantage of our vulnerability. And when is she going to realize that Father really does know best? Mm -hmm. And this... This is having a field day. This invites Robert to dinner. Can you believe that? Dinner? I must have been out of my head. Stop it. Would you both please stop it? Now, there's an idea. There's an excellent idea. I am so sick of this. I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm worried to death about Eden and Kelly's gone through hell and the two of you don't quit bickering. Bickering? I'm crushed. This is a far more profound dialogue than mere bickering. And I can't for the life of me understand why a man of your intelligence continues to be baited by him. Now, would someone please tell me about Kelly? She's talking about marrying Robert. No, well, why not? It's just because you helped her out in D.C. She's in no condition to make a decision like that. You said yourself she's going to go through hell, and he's just taking advantage of well, it. I'm sure you told her all of that, right? Hello, Kurz. Hi, Sophia. What do you think of all this? Uh, I have no opinion. I'm not exactly unbiased about Robert Barr. May I say something? Please. Why, well, who's going to stop you all of a sudden? Dad. Um, I assume we all care about Kelly. I assume we all really do deep down. We only really have one option. We admit she's been through hell, right? And even if marrying Robert Barr is the biggest mistake she could possibly make, she doesn't need to hear that from us, all right? That would just make things far worse for her. So what we have to do is just keep our true opinions to ourselves. What we need to do is shut up. My God, I agree with Mason. Cassie? What are you doing? Cece didn't tell you? Tell me what? I'm moving out. I already said goodbye to all the others. Mason, uh, most of my things are in the car. I just forgot I had this one last suitcase. Cassie? What's been happening around here? You want to tell me what's going on? Cassie's been banished from the kingdom for tattling, whistleblowing. Is this true? I would suggest you stay out of it. Oh, now, wait a minute. You don't send one of your children packing until you talk to me about it. Why don't you come inside and let's have a discussion? Come on. Sophia, you don't realize the enormity of her crime. Here, Cruz. You'll find this interesting. I've got a copy for you, too, Sophia. Of course you do, Mason. Oh, Michelle. come on. It's all going to find out eventually anyway. You see, Cassie... Her crime, what she did, the ungrateful wench, she went public with a snippet of capital history that my father would rather have kept buried, secret, interred. What the hell is this? That's right. A very large portion of capital holdings is standing on land that my honorable father maneuvered away from his trusting servants Rosa and Ruben Andrade. Cece? Cassie, do you need help with that suitcase? No, that's the last one. No, 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 now stop this. There's, we've got to talk. There must be some mistake. Sophia, there have been too many mistakes. I'm going to miss you. Well, now, you know, don't be silly how he flies off the handle. I love you. I'm sorry if this hurts you more than anybody else. You know, Cece, I think if you hadn't kicked me out, I might have moved out anyway. Oh, keep those. I've got lots of copies. Two of them have been working together behind my back. Is this real? Mr. C, is this real? I think you better answer the question. <laughs>